But you can see every Bitcoin you don't buy today is going to cost you $13 million. Bitcoin is emerging as the dominant digital monetary network. Now, when I, I used lots of entities buying Bitcoin. Now, two and a half million Bitcoin held by ETFs, countries, private companies, public companies. What's driving Bitcoin? A lot of companies are buying Bitcoin. Governments are buying Bitcoin. Next slide. Yeah. Bitcoin represents the transformation of our capital from financial and physical assets to digital. The ETFs have actually purchased $5 billion in the last six days. The last six days. There's only $40 million of Bitcoin available for sale by natural sellers. And the little block in the lower left corner is Bitcoin at $1.8 trillion. When uh, incident, Bitcoin's crawling into all the bond markets. Look at the yields. You can have 64% from Bitcoin or you could have 2%, 3%. It already is. I just use the word emerging because 95% of the people with the money in the world don't understand that there's a digital monetary network yet. When they understand that the class exists, they'll realize that Bitcoin is the winner. What? Well, this guy Satoshi came along and discovered a, a method to transfer value without a trusted intermediary. And everybody, it's like Facebook for money, except when Rupert Murdoch shows up to Bitcoin, he'll bring billions and billions of dollars. He won't just bring 27 friends and a few party invitations. Bitcoin's the solution. 12 out of the top 20 ETFs launched in 2024 are related to Bitcoin in some way. It's, it's obviously... And again, Bitcoin is manifest destiny for the United States. And you can see Bitcoin is just punching a hole in all the traditional capital markets. What's driving Bitcoin? Institutions are driving Bitcoin. Thousands. If they liked the idea of put your money in cyberspace in a crypto network, they pick Bitcoin, it's the winner. Bitcoin is, in essence, orthogonal to the rest of the market that makes it alpha. But you don't have to... Eight. You're saying Bitcoin's going to be $240 trillion in 21 years. Yeah. Yeah. Just very easily the way yeah. you say it. It's like it's not. But this is the past 14 years. Bitcoin's not just winning. I mean, it's up 78% in eight years. It's up 103% in 12 years. It's up 168% in 14 years. It's consistently winning. And at some point, if you look and hear someone say, well, what's the Bitcoin use case? There's no use case. The use case is the most valuable thing in the entire human race. It's 450 over the next 21 years. What's going to happen? Well, I assume technology is going to continue to advance. We're going to harness AI. There's going to be a lot of incredibly valuable companies. Next slide. Bitcoin's going to grow rapidly. Gold's going to be gradually demonetized. Equity's going to grow a bit faster. Real estate, about the historic average. Basically, the money supply is going to expand about 7% a year. Some assets are going to stay on that glide slope. Some will slightly outperform it, uh, like equity, like Bitcoin. Some will slightly underperform it. Next slide. That gets us to this forecast, which I presented in July of 2024. Bitcoin grows in, a base in my base case, 29% ARR, up to $13 million a coin. I think it grows faster in the first four or five years. It's growing 50, 50 to 60 percent. It's going to decelerate from 60 percent at some point down toward two times the S&P index.